I don't know whether a lot of people don't know this or not, but I, I haven't encountered a lot of people who seem to be aware of this. And that is, if you have uh, an audio effect uh, on a clip in the timeline that you need to replace, a lot of times you might have some keyframing automation that's done to the audio and an effect, right? And if I want to replace that, most of the time people will take the new audio track that's, that's coming in and they will line it up to the old one, put it on another track, they'll copy the keyframes and then they'll paste uh, the keyframes on a new thing, then they'll go and they'll get the, the audio suite um, plugin, drop it on and bring it down and replace it, right? And they'll do that for all the instances of it. And that works, totally. But there is another way that you can do it with the Avid, especially when you have um, like background music, which this is frequently, you know, uh, an instance where you'd need to do this. If you double click these, you get a, um, you get a second, I'll do it so you can see it better. You get a second instance, this like 1.1 clip, it's like a nest. Um, and you can then bring your source audio in and patch it uh, to it and just do a replace at it. And then when you close it back up, all you have to do is render this thing again and all of your audio automation and the effect is already there and you don't have to make room uh, with another, you know, another track. Anyway, I use that all the time and I wish that I knew it a lot earlier. Um, and uh, so I thought I'd share it. Anyway, that's it. Bye.